Welcome to Maya Hacks. Uh, in this video tutorial, we will see how to model a, a tap, and it would be a series of uh, modeling and uh, UV unwrapping, then doing the texturing using procedural methods and understanding the look development concepts. To start with, I would like to load the uh, reference image in my side view so that I could start to some modeling with the reference. So I'm choosing the right view here and in view, in the panel menu, view, image plane, import image. I would like to Im import the tap reference uh, here. So select this image and if I just have a look on this image plane, it is in the center. So I'll just move this image back and I'll open the attribute editor and make it slightly darker if you feel it is bright. Uh, then I'll just choose my side view and start doing the modeling of this tab. So to start with, uh, I would like to take a cylinder and I would keep things very low poly. So I'll choose channel box and uh, put a subdivisions of 12 or 8 or maybe 16. I prefer to choose multiples of 4 and then or maybe I'll put it to 8 then so that things would be in control. Maybe I can start doing something here. I switch off the caps. I'll choose insert edge loop tool and then select this or add this line here. Right click, choose the faces and select the faces there and then apply extrude. I just come here to the perspective again and then slightly move this in. Okay, maybe here. I'm holding shift right click to choose insert edge loop tool from the marking menu. And I'll just select this line or add this line here loop at this point and then scale it to match the reference. Add one more line here with the same method shift right click and then if you find it difficult you can always choose insert edge loop tool from here. I press Ctrl E and then just move it forward. Ctrl E gives me the extrude tool after selecting the face. And I'm just selecting this, scaling and matching with the reference. Again, press Ctrl E for the extrusion, then rotate it. Ctrl E. Ctrl E. Like that. So make sure that it is equally spaced. If not, you can use this tool called slide edge tool and then slide and then put an offset there. If I press three on the keyboard, I can visualize the mesh smooth here. At this point, I'll use the insert edge loop tool, add a line there. Add a line here and add a line here. I also add line here to put the creases there. I'll put a line in the middle like that. Put a line close to this and close to this.
So I press uh, Control E and then move it up. So I just scale it and then I will use this tool called circularize which makes this into a circular shape. Make sure that it is rightly in the way with a reference and then I'm going to scale this two points uh, one point is here and the other point here and then the scale I just move it down like that just have a look on how things turn up and also see what the reference is looking like so I'll use uh, a loop here and then just start tracing the reference I select this uh, face, press Ctrl E, and then give a thickness to it. Ctrl E, then move it inside. I'll not do much deep of that, I just leave it like that. And add insert edge loop tool. I feel this should be slightly big. Okay, let's create a cylinder here. And I'll take subdivision axis to 6, cap subdivisions to 0. Before that, let's put it to 1. Press D and V on the keyboard to snap it there. And snap that point there. And put the cap subdivisions to zero. And I'm just scaling this like that. Everything has to uh, transit into the, that circular shape and that's where this model becomes a little bit complicated so I'll apply bevel fraction I'll set to 0.1 like that I'll just see if uh, I can reduce it a little bit more smaller and then I use the insert edge loop tool multiple edges to 3 3 I'll just move it up
move it like that. I select this face, I press Ctrl E. Scale it. And then apply circular eyes. So I'll choose a, a line here. I'll add a line and then choose circularized tool there. And then just move it up. And then move it up again. Okay, select this face here. I press Ctrl E and then move it up. Okay, now the way I've created uh, this, I need to create this also, which is a screw type uh, valve, which will be there. Same idea, or maybe I can uh, duplicate it and invert it, control D, and then So I select these lines here. And scale it down. So I'm just coming to the perspective for that. I select this, press Ctrl E and use this tool called okay, uh, I, I need to scale it first and once I have scaled this, I will be applying this circularized tool I selected the ring and I'm going to scale it. So I'll use insert edge loop tool and here to triangulate I press Ctrl E and merge to center. Merge to center is uh, 
select the face go to edit mesh and then choose the tool multi center that's it so i just press 3 so that it looks to what i'm expecting you can put it on wireframe i'll take a cylinder and i snap it here like that and then rotate it 90 degrees put axis subdivisions to 0 If you see, I'm selecting this one by one. There's other easy method to do it. I select the vertex, control right click, two faces, and that should be very easy. First this, next this, and then select. Control E, scale it down. Control E, move it side, and then scale it like that. So I press three to visualize the mesh smooth. So that should give me a decent handle for this stuff. Yeah. So that is it. How I get this uh, tap model. So thank you very much.